This is Ultimate Pools. City living in downtown Dallas can be daunting, but splashing around in this backyard makes it easy to forget the city is just over the fence. We do sit in the middle of a city, but you feel that you are totally removed from the city. It really is like you're at a five-star resort in some tropical island or something. Not only the tranquility, the beauty, but to get away from kind of the stress and the city life, it has enriched us tremendously. When Brad and Brandy first moved into this home, the large wooded backyard was primed for a major overhaul. I came up with a vision one day. I actually drew it on the back of a napkin. Brad's broad pool vision included dozens of special features, not to mention different elevations and surfaces. I think those features definitely make it unique. We wanted to make sure that everybody from young to old could experience and have great times and, and memories. Yeah, I did it! So we created a great play area for them, as well as a great little diving, swim, cave. The play area includes a 15-foot acrylic slide tucked into the rocks that plunges into the 11-foot deep pool below, plus five separate waterfalls, including one that feeds an oversized hot tub. We utilize the hot tub a lot. It's just a central point for everybody to hang out. Swim behind one of these waterfalls into a cave-like grotto, a quiet and cozy place to get away. It's kind of a fun little secret hiding place, and you can go in there, and it's like you're in a whole other world. Our next ultimate pool boasts such a dramatic feature, it's seen from the entire neighborhood. Pool's open! <laughs> I wanted a place where my family could come and, and I would know where my kids are at all the time. Original plans for this pool included very few special features, but the surrounding national parks inspired a daring design. The arch wasn't initially in the plan, but as we started building the slide, we wanted the backyard to look like part of southern Utah and looked like it was there before the pool even went in. Soon, the mini canyon was underway, and as the arch grew in size, so did the ideas for what would be included in and around the pool. They call them up, let's do the slide. Can we add a grotto to it? <laughs> well, if you add those, then you have to do a beach entry. Well, that's what my wife wants, is a beach entry. So <laughs> let's add that. And then it morphed into the ultimate dream backyard for us as we added uh, putting greens and a fireplace and ping pong table. Pool designer Sean Paisant indulged all of Greg's ideas. Greg's kind of funny because he would come to me and. Uh, and he would say, don't tell my wife, I want to do this. Finding fun at this pool starts with the dramatic arch, built out of concrete to make it as strong as actual rock. The rock, we brought in an artist that welds and builds a framework for the structure. It's very sturdy, very strong. While the cement is wet, we're able to duplicate what Mother Nature would do with a different element. Our next backyard getaway started out as just another pretty pool in suburbia, a regular rectangle cement pool Harold found uninspiring. It was just more of a conventional area, and I just thought that by having an alternate environment, as it were, with the rocks and the waterfalls, that it transports you and takes you to another realm. For Harold, creating an alternate realm meant building an exotic jungle. Tall trees to hide the neighbors and giant boulders around the pool changed his boring backyard into an exotic wonderland. When I'm in the pool, I could be various number of places, more exotic destinations like in Mexico and the ancient Aztecs because of the rock formations. Bringing in real rocks would have added several weeks and thousands of dollars to the project. So designer Don Goldstone pitched artificial rocks instead. When I've had 
certain guests come, they were surprised that these weren't real rocks and boulders. We create our rocks with molds. We actually go out into the mountains, we find some very beautiful looking interesting rocks and create actual molds of the rocks that we want. We take them back to our factory and we create duplicates. No exotic jungle is complete without a waterfall or several of them. All fully operational using a remote control or a smartphone. And then I push this button right here and all of a sudden there's a waterfall. The pool at our next home looks like something you'd find visiting a French chateau, but it's actually a Texas backyard. Our pool in the summer is our oasis. I mean, the kids wake up and they're swimming all day long. Rexan's open concept design features strong lines and smooth surfaces around the pool and hot tub. Well, the design process for me is the most enjoyable part. This is more of an old world home. We wanted to bring in some clean uh, lines and design. It needed to be kid friendly, and yet we wanted to have uh, multiple seating areas, fire pits, uh, hot tub. Another feature Mike and Rex Ann wanted was a vanishing edge, which meant some creative problem solving for pool designer Mike Farley. The challenge with the vanishing edge pool is you have to have a drop, and, and we didn't have that. So in this area over here, what happened is we actually lowered everything 12 inches lower than the existing patio on the porch. Lowering the yard below the patio gave Mike the height he needed to create an edge around the pool. And in the deep end, Olympic hopefuls can be judged on their performance above and below the water. The acrylic wall feature is the cool feature of the swimming pool. It's really a fun when the kids jump off uh, the diving board, you can see them um, swimming. It's just, it's, it's really a wow feature. The pool was finished, but Rexanne wasn't. Any kind of design brings me so much joy and it is my passion truly really in life. She had so much fun designing her pool. She talked her in-laws across town into letting her design a pool for them, creating a backyard escape they'd never want to leave. Rexanne once asked me if, uh, I wanted to have any input in the pool about the design. I told her no. Nope. She said, all right, what you see is what you get. We had no idea the features that were going to be involved in the pool, and we were just shocked, amazed, and thrilled. The large pool can be seen from almost every window in the house, with a different, spectacular scene from each angle. This pool is so enjoyable. There's just so many areas that you can sit and participate. If you don't actually want to swim in the pool, you feel like you're a part of it. We wake up in the morning, we look out, and it's like uh, living in Shangri-La. At our next pool, inspiration spreads as far as the eye can see, outside the back door of this incredible cliffside Malibu home. Our original design was to try to find a way to bring the ocean that we could see into our backyard. And when you can blend those two things seamlessly, then that was the ultimate goal of what we were trying to do. So where do you start when you want to pull the Pacific Ocean into the backyard? Jason and Grace turned to pool designer Scott Cohen. This place has it all. It's got a great ocean view. The house is this cool hacienda style house. And they're into feng shui, which is a study of design. And so it was a great match. My one hope was to create a backyard that was as natural and free-flowing and fit in with the land and the energy of this canyon. Our design process came up with graceful curves uh, for grace. And we have all kinds of free-flowing curves, yin and yang going on. It's got outdoor rooms, like a recessed area where you can sit next to a swim-up bar, enjoy those uh, majestic ocean views. But constructing a pool on a cliffside isn't common. Construction of this project was no easy task. Let me tell you, we have 120 cubic yards of concrete below the pool shelf. That's to give us the anchoring that we need into the hillside so it stays in place for a vanishing edge pool. The expansive 40-foot wide vanishing edge creates the magic spot where pool meets ocean and sky. It feels like you're in a giant lake that blends into the sky. 
every feature here takes advantage of the extraordinary views. So beautiful. From the curved sun shelf built into the pool to the fire pit. And then there's the extra deep spa with an illusion edge of water spilling evenly all the way around. I think I prefer the spa over the pool any day because it's warmer. <laughs> Perhaps the most stunning feature of the pool design is the raised yoga deck. Grace is a well-known and respected yoga instructor, and she loved the idea of creating a yoga deck uh, out on the view area of the pool. My favorite part about the pool is the yoga deck. I get to practice yoga outdoors with a gorgeous view of the canyon and, and the ocean.